Good morning and welcome back to another video and today we are going to be going over how to make gold with prospecting. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. Okay so today we're going to be going over how to make gold with prospecting and quite frankly I've had been having a lot of luck with this recently. So for obvious reasons what are we going to be doing? Well we've got some gold here and we're going to actually spend it on lace dry ore. Now the majority of the time you can just do this and you'll probably come out ahead. So what we'll do is we'll actually go out on a limb and we'll just go lace dry ore. And what we'll actually do is we'll actually go into trade goods so we can actually find this ore. And what we'll want to do is about 8,000. So 8,000 of this we can actually see is going to be quite a lot. And we'll actually probably do about 10,000 right there. So about 10,000 lace dry ore. So what we'll do is we'll buy out all of that and then we'll run to the mailbox in order to actually get all of that stuff. So we've got 10,000 lace strike ore. And what we'll actually do right now is we are going to just go to the mailbox and then we can actually jump over there and grab all of our stuff right here. So what we're actually going to be going ahead and doing is we're actually going to go ahead and we're gonna actually prospect all of this stuff. So we're going to prospect basically a lot of lace strike ore. So let's actually jump over into our TSM and we can actually just jump over there. So how much did our lace strike ore actually cost us? It cost us a fair amount of gold. See, it cost us roughly around about 80,000 gold. So let's see if we can actually pull a profit with all of this stuff. So what we'll do is we'll go into this part and we'll just go to have materials and we're going to prospect all of this stuff right here in order to actually try and see if we can actually make a profit with all of this stuff. So without that further ado, what we're actually gonna be doing is we're gonna actually start going over all of the different stuff that is actually going about. Now I did some digging on the Reddit the other day and I have actually managed to find a user who actually went ahead and did all of this and actually got hold of the drop rates for rates for these actual materials, which is Angazai, Oroblast, and Umbriel. They are the keynote ones. Obviously, you've got more than that. You've got the essences that actually come along with that, but I kind of tend to think that they're a bit of a bonus when it comes to all of that stuff. Uh, by the way, you can actually add those in. I'm just using the, just the gems for simplicity's sake. Now, much like before with the milling one, we actually can re-evaluate this. This is done with the same type of TSM string by taking this actual drop rate, adding it into our TSM string with its corresponding item, which is laced right all, and then we can actually add that into that. So, what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna thank the user Scudeo, and either the link to what he actually did in the description is basically to the reddit link for that so send some love right there because that was really helpful it was really helpful to actually get ahead of start on all this stuff when it comes to dual crafting so what we can do while we're actually prospecting all this stuff we can actually go into our reports and we can go to our corresponding actual things so what we'll do now is we're going to go to materials we're going to go to anger's eye so we'll actually find anger's eye it currently costs us 18 gold and what we can do now is we can actually paste that in and we can actually change the prices for that as well. So then we'll actually do that with the same with the other ones as well. So we can actually do that with Oroblast uh, or however you want to say that one. I can't actually remember how you call that. That one costs 61 gold. So we'll actually replace that and we'll change that in right there. And then we can go do that for the Umbriel as well so we can actually change that right there 21 gold and we'll change the umbrial price right there for that so what we're actually going to be doing is we've actually changed that so then we can have a look at all of our different types of things we can actually craft when it comes towards shadowlands through our mass prospecting now a lot of things have actually become green so when we're actually looking at this, we can actually see that when we're actually doing our mass prospecting, we can actually craft some things for a profit now if we use mass prospecting. This isn't even taking into account of any of the essences. The essences are just a bonus from this and they sell for a hefty amount of gold. Like some of these ones actually sell for a hell of a lot of gold overall. Now, 
What we're actually going to be doing is we can actually now craft stuff for a lot cheaper by adding those TSM strings into the reports, into the materials. Um, obviously, if you're a little bit confused by that, by that because obviously he's been crafting while we've actually been doing it, um, you can go back to the milling video and then I go a bit more on why I actually do that. But basically what we're actually doing is we're just changing the report thing for materials for like Umbriel. So Umbriel, we're just changing the TSM string in order to match the uh, mass milling price. And then if it's worth it, then it will change all of our stuff for that. So then we can actually have a look at different types of gems. We can actually craft for cheaper. We can have a look at optional regents and mass prospecting and all that stuff. So now we can actually see which necklaces we can actually change, which rings we can actually make for a profit just by using our mass prospecting. Now this obviously isn't actually accounting for the essences. So the essences are a bonus towards this as well. So that is something you can do moving forward. The only thing of note that I would actually recommend with this is it will take a little bit of while to actually do mass prospecting with all this stuff, but you're gonna get a nice sample size with all this stuff moving forward. Now, for obvious reasons, I'm currently doing that, but if we actually open up WIT, I've actually already added this in towards worth it. So if it, we go down to flipping, we go to prospecting, it will actually do it for us. It says that lace dry ore, if I prospect 200, a stack of 200, I'm likely to get a profit of 848 gold for every stack of 200 that we're prospecting. Obviously we're prospecting quite a lot, so we're most likely going to be getting a hefty chunk of profit from that and overall it's not the gems that actually make the gold it's those essences because the essences actually do that quite well so the essences the essence of valor uh, it sells for quite well essence of servitude you've got the essence of torment and you've got the essence of rebirth i find that the essence of rebirth sells the best and it sells for the most because currently it sells for 650 gold each and we've already got 41 and we're not even finished doing our mass prospecting. The other gems we've just accounted for in TSM is just to make other rings. Personally, I would only make the 151 rings um, from that. So any of the blue rings, they tend to sell the best because you'll be able to craft a load of these and then it just works out really well. Obviously you will have to buy additional materials in order to do that, but you've now just reduced the cost by using your mass prospecting to actually reduce the cost in order to make it viable for you to sell on. And that seems the, to be the best way I find to actually do it. Now, aside from all of that, we are doing quite well with all of this stuff. It will come out with a nice hefty piece of profit for that but we're actually going to list all of this on the auction house and see what the actual value is overall once we're actually finished prospecting so and overall from that we'll actually just skip ahead uh, over to when the prospecting is about to be finished okay so we're just about to finish up our prospecting so now let's actually probably have a look at how much this is actually going to be worth now for obvious reasons we know that we've spent around about 80,000 gold for all of this stuff We've gotten a load of the essences, like stupid amounts, and some of them sell for a lot of gold. At the moment, a lot of this stuff is selling quite well, so what we'll do is we'll go into TSM, and we'll just go to a posting scan for all of this stuff. We'll just double check it's all the same stuff. Yes, let's post all of this to the auction house, and we'll see which ones, how much it's actually worth, which actually comes to a nice total of 155,000 gold. So we've spent 80,000 gold, to get like an additional 70,000 gold on top of that. So that's pretty damn good overall, it's a good thing. And uh, all of this does sell relatively fast, all of the sell rates are really amazing. I'm actually gonna cancel all of these scans because I don't like selling everything on one character. Uh, well, on multiple characters, I'd like selling it all on one character. So that's, uh, that is something right there. Now, aside from all of that, 
155,000 gold for 80,000 gold invested. That's pretty damn good. I can't really complain myself. So what we'll do is we'll go over to Cortana and we'll actually just use our TSM groups in order to send all of that stuff over and TSM is bugging out. Uh, <laughs> Standard and um, we'll now just zero off all of his gold because he really doesn't need all of that gold on him. And other than that, that is pretty much the video for this. This is how I like to reduce the cost of a lot of things. I quite frankly find this to be quite easy and quite fun. Obviously, the TSM strings are in the description if you want to actually make gold uh, to actually reduce the cost of material sourcing for your jewel crafting. So that's actually somewhat helpful if you wanted to go ahead and do that. that. That's pretty much what I've been doing. I've just been doing mass prospecting in order to reduce the cost to craft all of the 151 eye level items. And then I can just make more gold for my time invested. Aside from all of that guys, have an awesome rest of the day and I shall see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow. If you want to support the channel and help make the channel even better, then why not check out the Patreon? Members get additional info, gold making resources and Patreon specific content. The link is located in the description down below. Thank you and have an awesome day.